Welcome back. 2006 Honda Ridgeline. Done a bunch of work to this already. Have a bunch more to go. Uh, wiper transmission linkage for the wiper motor. Um, motor works fine. It's bad. Um, popped it back in just to see if it would hold, but didn't expect it to, and lasted for a day or so, and then popped out again. So I've got a new linkage here for it. We're going to pull this part and put a new um, transfer the motor to the new linkage and put it all back together, and should fix this issue. So I guess first we'll just, uh, these arms are just bolted on, there's a cover, a little cap on them, the rubber cap, pull them off of the wiper arms. The wiper arms are a little different, the one on the driver's side has a little angle as it comes up from the bolt, and this one on the passenger side is straight, so remember that. Um, I think these are 15 millimeter or 17, we're just going to zip them off of there. Careful of plastic. Out here. So there's supposed to be a bunch of push, push pins in here, but they're gone already. They were gone last time. Um, this splits in half right here. Uh, we don't have to take this half off. I'm going to leave that. Uh, we do have to kind of carefully undo. There's little holes and like elongated oval looking clips. You kind of have to work it to one side and back. So you don't tear it and undo this. I like to just get that out of the way. I don't have to worry about breaking it. Just play that down in there. And then up in this corner here, we've got a rubber piece that has a bunch of rubber push-ins. Nothing too serious. I just want to get that out. I have to unclip it here too. There we go. Let's pop that out. Disconnect the hose right here. I think I left it there. I think there's a T fitting in here. There is. It's a little easier to disconnect it from there. Say that. That's coming, it's just... There we go. Undo that hose. It kind of disconnects everything. We might just be able to set this out of the way. I don't know. Now nah, we're going to have to undo it. Got to get these out. Some little rubber. You just push in. Just, just, you know, be careful with it. I think that's all I have to do. I think. Pull that on and get on it. Got one more, something's still holding on here. Yeah. Do that, there we go. I'll just set that aside. It's got a bunch of, a little, this uh, rubber piece, molding piece, just pushes through all these holes and locks itself in. They're just, you know, just be careful with them. No big deal. I put it back on. I usually put a little silicone spray on them, just makes them go in easier. Uh, so this is what we need to get at. So this is kind of what we care about. It's this whole mechanism here. It's just uh, some 10 millimeter bolts, like one, two, three, four. I think we can take this whole thing out. So we want to unplug this connector. A tab on the bottom, push up on a tab, disconnect that. If you do want to make sure this is off and all the way in the parked position uh, before you take it apart.
Actually, this one up here can stay on there. It's the mount for the motor. It's got to be transferred anyway. I believe that's it. To get that undone, the whole thing should come out. Just four 10 millimeter bolts. That's it. It's on a pin right here in the corner. There's a pin going coming out this way. You have to slide it to the passenger side. Clear that pin. I'll show it to you. I'll take it off and show it to you because I know you can't see it. And just slide it out of here. We'll just set it right here for a minute. We're going to unbolt this, take measurements, uh, and uh, move this to the new one. So what I was talking about is right up in there. There's a pin right there. Right? Right here. You got to slide the hole. Once you unbolt it, slide it to the passenger side and get off that pin. No big deal. Well, oh, I want you to fall over there. Alright, here you can see there's two bolts. I'm going to measure this distance. Uh, and then, so I, when I transfer to the other, um, maybe there is no measurement. There might be two holes for this mount, so it might be no measurement at all. Let me get the new one. Let's take a look at it. And this is what's broken. All right, there's the arm. You can't get these cups, these little nylon cups for the ball joint. Um, I looked all over the place. I don't think they make them for this car. You've got to buy the whole thing. At least I can find them. And here's the new one. Let's see what we got here. Get it the right way first. Looks like this. Yeah, there's holes for it. So um, let's unbolt this. Match it up. It's always good to match it up to make sure it's the same and it, it looks the same. That's a good thing. And I got new nuts for the shaft too. Let's take these two out. You may have to hold the back of it. I'm not sure. Probably do, but maybe not with an impact. Might get lucky. Never know. There's one. Just lift this off. There's your motor. There's your back piece for it. Set that right here for a minute. I'm done with this. Jump. Get our new one. I clipped. I got a, a zip tie there. And there, you can see, here's, this has got to come off. There's a new one on here. So let me unbolt this, probably 17 millimeter as well. I guess. It is. Let's take that arm off. And washer. Get it off of here though. It's on there pretty tight, so let me go let me go fight with this and get it off of there and transfer a new one. So I just grabbed a little puller, the arms on here like this, and just popped it off. As soon as it got pressure on it, it popped right off of there. That's gonna go on here like this. What I'm gonna do right now is just put it on there loosely. Get the uh, washer and nut on it. So I can uh, not tight yet. Nothing really exciting. Did I get it all the way through? Not yet. I gotta line it up. I'm gonna have to fight with this for a little bit off camera, but I'm just lining these bolts up to get them in the right place. This on top here. This for a little protection. So I had to do a little, a little persuasion to get these bolts lined up. No big deal. And I forgot to put this bracket on, so I get to just back these off. Put the bracket, put them on. Hang on. 
I forgot. You just gotta line them up to get them through, it's no big deal. Put the bracket on. Get it started. This one I gotta get through a little more, I think. It's a little. The whole, uh, the whole mechanism's up off the, up off the base a little bit. Enough or not? Yeah, I think so. Let's find out. Run them in. I just had that 10 millimeter in my hand. There it is. I hid it from myself. Let's run this down just a little bit. Just want to run them in a little bit. just kind of show you this um, the arm right here that's on the back of the motor and you can see on that arm that it connects to it's a straight line it's all the way straight so it's facing that arm and it's pushed the arm and this is the passenger side more towards the passenger side it's pushed it as far as it'll go and this is parked right now so I know it's at its lowest point on the window uh, that's what you want to line back up once you know it's parked you want it that way so when they turn it on, the first thing it's going to do is pick the arm up. If you don't get this lined up straight when you put it back together, then you're going to have a problem and you're going to have to reset them. Basically pull it apart and reset it. to this. Always start by hand as usual. Make sure they're lined up. This is why, because I'm fighting it right now. I don't know why, but I am. I go nuts on these, you're right? We need 10 millimeter head, they're not very big bolts. Okay. Electrical connector, don't forget it. Let's put our cowling back in place. The hardest part, if I remember this correctly, is this piece here. Getting that piece. So, I believe that's the last, of course. Let's put our hose back in, don't forget that. That won't help you if you forget that. Get back connected up here. Not much to it. Good. Just back in place. Everybody lined up and happy. If you got a push pin right here, you got to get that in a the hole. There's a hole there for it. So, like that. Now, there's push pins up in here too. That are underneath. Let's see, right now, let me get them lined up. Now I can see them. There we go. There's that. Good. There are little push pins you gotta line up here. Up if you need to, you can look underneath. You may have to. You can actually look down through the grill too. 
down through the top of the seam, line them up. It's probably a smarter thing to do. Alright, put my silicone spray away and it's buried up on the shelf, so I'm just going to use uh, a little bit of uh, window cleaner. Just, just wipe down, wipe them down a little bit, lubricate them. Not a lot. Let's see. I took it out of there now. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> now I gotta figure it out. Now it came out. I don't know this. You just gotta push it in place. Get a little bit of uh, some kind of lubricant. Like I said, I just used the window cleaner. It's a little wet. And they just, they'll push in a lot easier. This one seems to give me the most grief when I found it. Just gotta get a hold of it from this side. Pull it a little bit. I'll tear it off. There's not much to it. Remember the bent arm goes to the driver's side. Get this kind of where it needs to be, lined up on the windshield. Push your uh, arm down onto it. Should be on the windshield. It's down here, right about there. Push that down on there. Cover. All right. So hopefully you can see this. It's just a round, round hole, and this is. It's like it has a little oblong, oval-shaped pin in here. So what you have to do is get it on the one end and then stretch it out and get it on the other side. I think what I did last time is I took a little screwdriver and held it up so I could get at it. I had a brain and I probably would have taken these out from the other side when I had it apart and just put them in there and just pushed them back in. It would be easier, but I never said I had a brain. Didn't think about it at the time and I'm not going to tear it apart again, that's for sure. There we go. All right, we got a little set up now. Back together. I just want to see if they're where they should be. I believe they are. Let's just uh, see how they do. Your mitt. I'll check that as well. let them park so that's good they're below the hood it's kind of where I want them uh, they're covering the window really well that's it well that's it for the uh, windshield wiper transmission linkage uh, for this 2006 Honda Ridgeline I messed it up the first time I did it had to go back and do it again what I will tell you is make sure it's parked makes sure, which means basically means before you take everything apart you can take the wiper arms off, doesn't matter. Uh, run the wipers, 
and then shut them off and let it park so it's at its lowest point. And then once you do that, then you take everything apart. What I showed uh, earlier was that linkage has to be in line that where it hooks to the back of the motor on that post, that stud on the back of the motor, has to be facing the passenger side and the linkage that it hooks to should be in a straight line. That means basically um, the linkage is rotated all the way as far as it can down or towards the passenger side. And when you start it, it's going to start going back up again. That's where you want to put your wipers back on. I messed that up the first time. It just caused me a little bit of problem. Not, not a big deal. But you might you want to make sure you do that. Uh, save yourself some lost time like I had today. Um, but it's working. Uh, and um, if you have this problem with your Honda Ridgeline, I hope this helps you out. If you like the video, subscribe below. Thanks for watching.